What's going on guys and today we're following immediately after 1FC put on their event in this morning 1 Championship Warriors of Light <laughs> Now, we had some MMA results, and we had some kickboxing, some Muay Thai, all different types of fights, and it was pretty awesome. But we're coming at you right after the fight, and I'm going to break down some of the stuff. Uh, this is called a results video, but we're getting some dislikes on the other results videos, and I kind of think it's just because I'm going over stuff you can look up pretty easily. So maybe I'll give you guys a little recap as well as results for today's video and see how that one does. And we'll start with the main card, and we'll talk about what we saw. So, Kazuki Tokudome defeated Adrian Pong via eye injury. Um, it happened at 127 of the second round. Now, this eye injury was not an eye injury like a poke in the eye, a kick in the eye, or something of that nature. This was complete brutalization on the part of Tokudome. Um, it was a great win for him. He was on the feet. He was far better than his opponent. And he was able to deliver so many shots. Left eye. And it was just cut up to pieces. And he couldn't see out of it. So the doctor had to step in. The ref pulled them apart. The doctor stepped in. And they called the fight off. Adrian Pang put on a good performance. But you know, Kazuki was just by far the better striker. And you notice that a lot with these 1FC guys. Hailing out of Asian countries. The Asian markets. Whether that's Japan. China. Uh, Philippines. Thailand. Whether I'm fucking up that market or not. I don't really care. But these guys are so fast. Now this happened at the welterweight division. So it's a little slower with heavier strikes. But when you get up. We had a featherweight fight. We had a flyweight fight. And these guys are throwing strikes at lightning speeds. And that's what the UFC wanted to say about their guys at flyweight. These, these guys are super speed and a lot of finishes come from it. So this was awesome to watch. Because then we get to our next MMA fight. And it's Pong Siri Mercedes taking on Robin Catalan. And Catalan was got kneed to the groin at the beginning of the first round. He threatened a heel hook very, very early. But nonetheless, Pong Siri was able to do exactly as he said. He said, I'm going to knee him to the body. And he came in and kneed him to the body. And this is a guy that is going to be a welcome addition to 1FC's flyweight division. I think that they would might even qualify it as the atomweight division because of the fact that 125 is what they're weighing in as. But 125, obviously, with the waterweight additions, is to us the UFC's flyweight division. So Pong Siri with a huge win, he climbs to 10-2, and two, so I'm interested in seeing what 1FC does with him, if they're going to give him a top contender in one of their divisions, or if they're going to continue to patch his record up a little bit more, and then they're going to see him get a title shot sooner rather than later, hailing out of Thailand, I'm interested to see where this, he's a very, very good striker, he was showcasing knees to the body, good clinch fighting, we didn't really get to see a lot of distance, but nonetheless, Pong Siri gets the W, and then we get to our final MMA bout on the night. We'll go over some of the kickboxing results too, but the final MMA fight on the event was actually the third fight to the end. It was Shoko Sato taking on Mark Abelardo. Abelardo falls to 18-6, and six, whereas Sato dominates the fight. First round was all Sato, and then the second round again was all Sato. Sato was able to take this to the ground, and once he got it to the ground, he was able to do what, as he wanted, as he pleased. And this was a pretty dominant performance. This would be at their bantam weight, 135 pounds, even though they weigh in at 145 pounds. If you don't know what I'm referring to, it's the water weight they allow. They don't make their fighters cut water weight. So their fighters are able to go 10 pounds up. So the weight limit is 10 pounds up, but you have to meet the water requirements of a healthy fighter. So therefore, their 145-pound division cuts off 10 pounds, and they call it their bantamweight division. So again, another interesting addition to the bantamweight division. We didn't see much MMA as for titles, as for rankings, but we saw a bunch of contenders coming out of the woodwork, and these guys are going to make impact sooner rather than later on 1FC, and we might see their names in the future fighting for world titles. Um, but nonetheless, at the top of the bouts, we had a Muay Thai title bout and a kickboxing title bout between Mechdom and Elias Mahmoudi. These were two great fights, two little... Oh my god, these guys were swinging to the fences. The speed of the kickboxing fighters is ridiculous. And then you get Nongo Gaiang Hado versus Hiroki Suzuki, which was a great fight again. Another world title fight in Muay Thai. Two more kickboxing, a kickboxing and a Muay Thai fight. Rod Tang Jitsu Mangon took on Sok Thai. Rod Tang got the W at round number two, one minute and 36. Punches and leg kicks. This was good. Man, they chopped down everybody. It's a great fight for him. And then also on the main card, we had Cheng Long Zhang take on Panikos Yusuf. Which was another good fight. But that wrapped up one's Warriors of Light. Tomorrow we have UFC 237. 
tonight i don't really know if we have anything let's go take a look bellator 221 is this weekend i believe so tonight we have boxing at 2 p.m uh two boxing events one in the greater london england and one in nottingham england then you also have tonight is there anything else on tonight mma wise I think everything else is tomorrow, Bellator 221 and UFC 237, but we'll have results videos for that, coverage for that coming up on the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and make sure you like the video. And if you dislike the video, tell me why you're disliking the video, you fuckheads. But that'll do it for me. Peace out, guys.